What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and today I'm going to be showing you three exercises to work your inner chest. All right, so when it comes to targeting a certain area of your body, a certain muscle of your body, especially a certain area of a muscle, you have to understand exactly how the muscle works. So let's first talk about exactly uh, how the chest sits on our body. Because in order to grow a muscle, you have to stimulate the muscle fibers in the right angle. You have to shorten and lengthen the muscle, and that is your concentric and eccentric contraction of a rep. So. When you're talking about a muscle like your chest, you have to shorten and lengthen it. So what that means is you're gonna bring your arm, so it's going to insert into your upper arm bone, and then it's going to attach into your, depending on which head of your chest that you're talking about, it's either gonna go up into your, your clavicle, it's going to go into your uh, sternum, or it's going to attach into down into your abs. So you have your clavicular head, your, uh, your sternal head, and your abdominal head of your chest. So when you're trying to work your inner chest, you're not necessarily working one of those heads, but you're working a certain area of the fibers. So when you're trying to work, let's say the inner chest, you have to understand what is going to work that part, what builds the cuts, what puts the striations in the middle of your chest. And that's going to be two main things. It's going to be one, tension. Continuous tension, time under tension builds muscle. The next, is going to be the peak contraction because when you're getting the stretch of your chest you're not necessarily going to be working only that inner portion that's going to give you those deep cuts the striations what's going to work those that part of your chest is when you're all the way in at the middle and when you're all the way in at the middle this is what you call um, well, what you want to focus on is rather than pressing weight up because most of the time when people are working their chest they think that pressing movements is what really works their chest and it does, but it's what part of the pressing movement that actually stimulates those muscle fibers and that is from arm adduction. That's your elbows bringing, coming together. You have adduction, which is when your arms come together and abduction, which is when your arms go out. So adduction and abduction is what's going to work your chest. So in order to get that, the inner chest, you're going to be working that from the peak contraction when you are when your arms are adducted as possible so that you're going to basically build up that 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 area that's hit when you get into your peak contraction and build your inner chest your striation so i'm going to show you three exercises real quick the first one is just going to be um a, like a chest press where the dumbbells are going to be in together so you're gonna, you're gonna take your dumbbells and then you wanna do the same thing that you always do when you're doing that exercise. You wanna have good form. So in order to work my chest optimally right here, I'm gonna roll my shoulders back, I'm gonna press them down, and I'm really gonna focus on driving through my chest rather than with my interior deltoids, my front delts. And then first, before you even go down, you wanna remember that you are trying to work your inner chest here. So you don't just wanna be holding it here and resting. You want to be pressing this weight together. There's a big difference between this and this, where you actually press that weight together, you're squeezing, and then you go down, keeping your shoulders rolled back, squeezing the weight together, squeezing the weight together, and press it back up, squeezing it together. So you're constantly pushing these weights into each other as hard as you can, but then just going up and down with the weight. That way you can create a little bit of motion hitting different areas and different, hitting different fibers at different angles. So that's gonna be the first method. The second method is actually really similar to dumbbells, but it's going to be with a plate. So it's gonna be basically just a inner plate press. The main difference between these is that A, the plate press is going to be in farther your, your, your arms are going to be in closer together because you're not holding two dumbbells and so that's going to be the first one the second one is you're going to make sure that this plate doesn't fall on your face so this is definitely a inner chest exercise that's going to be a little harder than dumbbells because the dumbbells are farther apart which makes it a little bit easier and there's not a possibility of it falling on your face because you have handles in your hand so i'm gonna show you the second one real quick like i said plate press so you're just going to put your hand on this plate you're gonna go down as if you're doing the same thing, 
roll your shoulders back, press them down. From here, you are squeezing this weight together. You're not just resting here and kind of pressing with pretty much triceps. This is mostly triceps right here. Instead, I'm gonna press this weight together, squeeze my chest. Imagine someone's holding a pencil in between my pecs. Squeeze it, bring it down to my chest, squeezing, 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 and back up. Back down, still squeezing this whole time. If you were to put your hands in between my hands, I would be squeezing them as hard as I possibly could. So that's the second exercise. And the third one, we're gonna head over to the cables real quick. All right, the third exercise is going to be a cable fly, but it's going to be the same, similar movement pattern and tension pattern to the first two exercises. Instead of just grabbing two handles and pressing these out like a normal fly, just like this, instead of doing this and going back, instead what you're gonna do is, we're trying to hit that inner, the inner portion. So you're going to press this weight forward you're really gonna focus on squeezing at the top, getting that peak contraction. And then from here, you're gonna go down, keeping your shoulders rolled back and down. Really focus on this only hitting your chest, squeezing together, squeezing together, all the way back up. And you can test out different angles. If you wanna go all the way up here, you're gonna start hitting a little bit of your, more of your shoulders. But if it works for you, you can test it out. Wherever you feel it the most, you just wanna keep the tension on the inner portion of your chest, just squeezing as hard as you can the entire time, squeezing that weight together, getting that peak contraction, and then hitting it different angles and keeping the tension on the muscle. That mixture of different methods going on in your head as you think about it, as you do the exercise, if you're thinking about keeping the tension on it, hitting the angle, hitting the fibers from different angles and making sure that you're always staying in a peak contraction, that is when you're going to start hitting or working and growing your inner chest. So try these exercises out if, you're, if your inner chest is lacking, you're trying to build those striations. Try these out and implement them into your schedule one or two times a week whenever you're hitting chest and start to see some growth. So if you guys want a couple more tips just like this, I have a free fitness quiz. It basically takes in your body stats, what you're struggling with, are you uh, skinny fat, are you overweight, are you skinny and trying to build weight or build mass, whatever it might be, it figures that out, figures out what you're trying to do and it spits out a video with three tips that are for your body type. There are, they're for what you're struggling with and where you want to be and then after that there's a 90 day program that's recommended depending on what your body type is. It could be the Rip the 90 day program, it could be the Clean Bulk program, Fat Loss Extreme program, Toned in 90s for, the, for you women. Um, it's gonna spit out a program at the end. It's completely optional if you wanna continue on. I just wanted to tell you so you guys didn't get mad about it. Um, but if you didn't wanna get it, there's three tips that are for free anyways. So you can check that out by clicking the link in the description below this video. Other than that, if you liked this video, if it helped at all, if you learned anything, make sure you're clicking the thumbs up button below. If you have any videos you want to make, any comments, concerns, um, questions, leave them in the comment section below. And then also don't forget to click the subscribe button because I'm releasing three videos every single week and you won't miss out. So thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.